Now, Vegas has a lot of crazy cars. There's a lot of auto heads here. And of course, that's why we're here at AutoFest 2024 in Las Vegas. People bring cars from basically everywhere. Expensive cars, built cars, classic cars. And today, I'm gonna to be giving you my five top built cars here at AutoFest 2024. I'm Aiden, and you're watching God Next. Now this might just look like a regular DeLorean on the outside from the Back to the Future franchise, but I can assure you there's a little twist. This isn't powered by its typical motor. In fact, it's got a twin turbo V8 Lotus Esprit engine in the rear instead of its stock motor. Of course, there's other things done to it like cosmetic mods and everything like that, but it's really cool to see someone take this typically pretty slow car and stuff a way larger engine in it. It makes around 400 plus horsepower, so yeah. This thing definitely gets up and moves. Now, when you look at a Mini Cooper, what you don't expect is for it to have six wheels. And what you definitely don't expect for it to have is a truck bed with a functional hatch in the back. Yes, on top of the fact that this, you know, shouldn't have six wheels, it's got a truck bed. So I know that there's a bunch of other crazy modded cars out there, but this is just something that you probably will never see ever in your life ever because who converts a Mini Cooper? It's like seeing a Holden Ute in real life. Like you just don't really see stuff like this. So yeah, maybe there's not a bunch to talk about, but it's still really cool. If you like Mini Coopers, you're going to love this one because this is a Euro spec Mini Cooper that was actually imported into the United States in 2020 and completely rebuilt from the ground up. The motor was completely rebuilt by the owner and they even turned their garage into a paint booth to actually spray paint the car themselves. This thing looks absolutely awesome uh, and it probably drives way better than it was when it was new back in 1992, but it's really cool to see an imported one now that's been completely rebuilt, completely repainted. And for someone who did it themselves at home, this is fantastic craftsmanship. Okay, well, if you like Lamborghini Huracans, and I do, you're going to love what's sitting next to me right now because clearly it has a bunch of carbon fiber body mods. It's got these HRE rims on it, and it's got this beautiful wrap. It's an amazing looking car. But if you go to the back, what you're gonna notice is it's missing its rear bumper and it's got eight exhaust ports with two turbochargers sticking out the rear of it. This is a twin turbo Lamborghini Huracan, which takes this 5.2 liter V10 that makes roughly 600 horsepower to, if you want, well over 1500 horsepower. And typically when you see configurations like this, you'll see those crazy anti-lag systems that they put on these cars. That way you get those beautiful videos of them just sitting there in traffic and all of a sudden they activate the anti-lag and take off like a rocket ship spitting flames. Twin turbo Huracans have to be some of my favorite modded cars out there because they're beautiful for one, they're incredibly fast and they're actually incredibly reliable when you do these types of mods on them. People put 30, 40, 50,000 miles on their Huracan when they supercharge or twin turbo charge their Huracan. So yep, one, it is probably my favorite car uh, that's been modded that I've seen here at AutoFest, beautiful. So if you're a big fan of Porsches and off-road cars at the same time, you're going to love this. This is an off-road modified 986 Boxster and clearly it's been modified. You have these Toyo off-road tires, a suspension lift, a bunch of lighting bars, additional rigidity added up front, additional tires in the back for Baja racing, and additional cooling that's been added up front under the hood. The interior has been left widely untouched is what it seems like. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be really anything done to the interior, so you can still be just as comfortable in this thing doing Baja racing as you could uh, racing down the track against your friends. But this thing is absolutely insane. This is actually the second time I've seen it at AutoFest. So yeah, it's back for 2024 and this thing looks absolutely great. I, I do wonder if it's actually used for any kind of off-road stuff, but uh, I'm sure it is. Come on, it's a 986 Boxster. Who doesn't off-road their 986 Boxster? So those are my top five build cars at AutoFest 2024. It's crazy to see some of the stuff people do out here and they get to bring it here and share it with everyone some of the craziest fastest stuff to some of the most coolest rebuilds from cars from 80s 90s cars that are 40 50 years old so it's always really cool to see that kind of stuff and see what people can do 
on their own. If you guys like the video, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more from us, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video.